Guys, I've got a few things to show you from Furtech. This right here is the Tesla board right here. This, you can actually program the ESC and do all kinds of things with it. Uh, you do have to update your ESC though. And to update your ESC, you've got to use your phone. This right here kind of takes the place of the phone as far as programming and all that. Plus you get a live readout like telemetry right here like something you can put on a dash. So that's actually pretty neat there. And I've got the Lizard Pro. Now hopefully I can get it fit in the MoFo chassis bouncer right here. This is 3S compatible. So that should finally make it where I can have a bouncer that's going to bounce, right? Anyway, I'm going to show both these to you on the table. Somehow get them in and take them for a drive. Take a look. Here we go, guys. Let's power this up. Look at this. My hands are a little bit on the rough side. I've been outside uh, working on the exoplex. So. But anyways, you can see right there. Um, once I updated everything, you see the battery voltage, temperature of, I'm assuming the ESC. Let's go ahead and throttle this thing real quick. Got the little animation. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Now you go right here, you push this button to the left, and you can actually see more details. Um, let's see here. There's all your menus and all that. Now to FMRC, he went through these pretty darn good. I actually watched his video before I went into this one. Uh, telemetry, which we already seen that. Um, here's your setting, your running. Um, your mode, cutoff voltage, rotation. I got the brushless, I mean, Pretty much just switch wires but the way this is set up it kind of has a plug oh and it times out goes right back so throttle you can calibrate it here's the punch let's try this oh i got more punch sweet i'm assuming that set it Throttle to calibration, that's a good thing. Yep, I saved it, so that's kind of like your save button right there in the middle. All right, so we're gonna get back, exit. So pretty much, I mean, What I want to do, I'm going to come up with a mount. We have got this right here to where when I close it, I can actually see it through the windshield. So I'll get that set up and we'll see that here at, at before we go take it for a drive. Because I got to get into the uh, Lizard Pro. Here's the Pro right here, the Lizard Pro. It's also good to 3S. It's got a switch versus the little push button thingy yeah right there so it's got an actual switch uh all this stuff unplugs there's nothing hard to solder to it um got the bluetooth thing and all that so i'm assuming it's going to set up the same as this it's just good to 3s so hopefully i can i barely was able to fit this into that mofo bouncer i've got to try to get this in and I believe you can use the uh, Tesla on this as well by plugging into right there. Um, maybe we can try that out, but I gotta try to get this glued into the chassis and there is not much room. So I got this halfway stuck in there for now. But I want you guys to see something. That drops down. You can actually see that through the windshield. Ha ha ha. How awesome is that? You can see the battery, everything right through, right through the windshield. So pretty much, I think that's kind of cool. Now I've got, I changed the ESC setup using the Bluetooth. Uh, there's more features with the Bluetooth than what there is with the uh, Tesla, at least from what I could tell. Uh, especially when it comes to the crawl mode. 
when it goes into actual transition with the curves and all that stuff. So I didn't see that on the um, Tesla. But the thing is, we're about to get that 3S bouncer. I've got a 500 milliamp 3S in this thing. I mainly look for like a 300 milliamp 3S. Um, let's see here. Kind of want it to crawl. There we go. Nice. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I got to try that again. Did this thing just almost get air? <laughs> Can this thing actually move dirt? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh man, we're getting outside. Oh no, this thing is awesome. The first thing I want to do is see if this thing moves some dirt and we're gonna go over a gigantic cliff. <laughs> All right, can we get up it? This thing is moving. Come on, baby, come on, baby. I got so much more wheel speed now. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this thing move. That is awesome. Come on, come on. Ah, we'll try it again. Now this has that PN racing 90 turn motor so it's really souped up it's not a stock motor at all <laughs> this is awesome that is awesome Well guys, I gotta tell you, the Tesla is cool. You get to see it right up there, at least the way I've got mine set up. You can still Bluetooth it, get a few more features, at least from what I was able to see out of this. I really, really like the 3S on the Lizard Pro. Um, 
being able to 3S this thing really made it fun. Uh, it actually almost bounces now. I don't know how I'd make it faster, maybe a 70 turn motor, but if I went with a 70 turn motor, would it survive 3S? Don't know, but this right here is a blast now. Um, I like seeing it up in the uh, windshield there, but you guys saw what I drove, right? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I will put links to all this down below from Furtech, uh, the MoFo chassis, um, the green C10, all of them. I'll link them all down there. Make sure you guys check that out. There are affiliate links, AMA, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. It helps out the channel when you guys use the links. So, guys, hey, I'd appreciate it. So, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.